as a special Thanksgiving video, we took a turkey, as you see here, with a GoPro on it. We launched it, a potato, and an iPhone 6. Uh, we did about four airbags, and we had a great time. It looks something like this. Here's some of that GoPro footage. but you get all kinds of smoke and all kinds of uh, stuff off of the airbag, talc powder too. What's that smell like? It's like gunpowder, a little bit. A little bit. Let's check out the slow motion footage. Was it good on that one? Did cool. the potato help? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was cool. Sweet. You can see the other airbags that we did. We've got one here and another one back there at the grass line. We've been launching cell phones into the air with. So I've got all these detonated airbags. Some of us are unfortunate enough to see the insides of that little steering wheel pad airbag. But what else is in there? Let's find out. First thing we're going to do is just pop this cover off. There's this plastic cover with all the warnings and things on it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in from the back. So that just contains the rubber part, or the plastic part. Click the like button and share! So here's the airbag itself. You have your detonation thing. So you've got your two exhaust vents here. And then the other part, I guess, to mention is there's kind of a pad here. So let's take some scissors. This stuff's really tough. It's probably make a decent duffel bag or backpack. It's like cutting wrapping paper. Once you get it started, it goes pretty quick. You can make a stage prop out of this and just have it be over your steering wheel and people would think that you're in an accident. Just stay on the outside of it. It's not double layer. It cuts a lot better. Here's our airbag. When you flip it over, this is kind of fun. You can see that it's held by four different strands so it only goes so far. And they're kind of stretchy. No, not really. I mean, they're stretchy in that this edges are stretchy, but the rest isn't. So we'll snip these. It's all that same fabric. It's kind of a waterproof membrane on one side. And then, like, tough nylon on the other. And you see that you've got kind of that support, and that's what the circle stitching's about. But what's inside this? Why is it, like, double or triple layered? Let's find out. I guess it's so that it doesn't blow out the end of it because it's blasting directly here. So it wants that to inflate and that kind of causes secondary inflation to happen for the part that hits your face to give a little squish into the rest of it. So there's these. It's just double layered. And then that's it. There's nothing on the other side. It's just uh, translucent material. See, there's a little residue here, a little mildew or, I don't know, moisture got in there at some point. So that's that. There's kind of like a secondary inflation pad. There's vents so that that goes. You've got these retaining type things here. And then as far as the charge, it goes out the side. And you see that screen? And you see the burn marks where it exploded out through the sides there? So it goes out this way and then comes to this and goes poof. So it's not a direct explosion if you will it just kind of goes out sideways and then that helps it to all unfold and go out i'm sure as far as the fold lines it's kind of parachute like you know fold it one way and then the other way fold it this way and the other way and then you can see a crease here and it just repeats itself going sideways you can tell that this folded under here and then this folds here like that, and then this one's this way, this is this way, 
and like that. And of course that's without any of this fabric incorporated in it. But you can kind of see the same kind of a deal. So this goes in and then this pulls in like that. This goes in like that. And then this, you can tell, folds this way. And then this goes this way. And then this one goes here. And then that goes there. So these are damaged bolt extractors. They basically, they're spiraled. So the more that you twist them, the more that they bite into the soft steel <laughs> of the uh, fastener and take it off. So even though I don't have the very specialized type socket that's needed for this, I can still pull it off. There might even be reverse torques, I'm not sure. But whatever they are, they're out of here. You could use this type of nut to secure parts on your bike so that people don't take it off. But they look hexagonal, so a normal socket should work on that. I'll get back to you. So how do you like that? This is your airbag, this is gas generator. That's what they say. They don't say explosive, they don't say charge, you don't say anything like that. I mean that would sound really cool, but I'm sure some ignorant politicians would go and make their life hard. You see all these uh, rivets on the other side of this. Those rivets are just to hold the bag itself. It's like a fuel pumped flange or something on the top of a gas tank, but it's just got a death grip on that fabric you can see like that so there's the bag part there's the pretty part this is the go bang part so how is this contained there's dimples that are around the sides those aren't for looks I'm sure that secures it onto something and then this seems to be pressed into here so you've got the two halves I think that this part goes into here and then this is crimped on it so we're gonna cut it right around there that's the plan and I'd have gotten away with it too if it ain't for those meddling <laughs> kickbacks. I'd say kids, but kickbacks. So this is a really stupid idea. That label that you see there says that this was made in Ogden, Utah, and that's fine and great. But then it also says this has all kinds of uh, dangerous stuff in it. You shouldn't cut it. You shouldn't have it go over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, all that kind of stuff. So ultimately, I cut my thumb just a little bit, just enough to really smart and fill it full of aluminum that I had to pick out of it really bad idea don't cut one of these open it was a knucklehead thing to do i just figured oh, i'm a youtuber i'm gonna get the inside scoop you know like i'm some reporter or something on what's inside these stupid things full of toxic nasty stuff it turns into glass when you you know discharge them but there's like uh some kind of azide and some kind of nitrate or whatever i'm gonna do another video that talks about the chemistry of it and i'm gonna see if i can get my tail down to ogden utah and meet with the folks that make this. Um, it's Auto Live now. At the time that these were made, it was Morton. You know, like Morton Salt. You want to see my thumb? All right, I'll show you my thumb. Here's what happened to my thumb. It wasn't real bad, like I say, but it hurt like the Dickens getting everything cleaned out of it. That, and when you cut things like this, it heats it up, and it's just, it's just a dumb, dumb thing to do. Don't do it. It smells kind of like, you know, after you get fireworks and you clean them up or you go to break it in half and get rid of it. It smells a lot like that, but something's different about it. But this thing's an onion. And the reason why I say that is when you look through this, you can see where there's a circular thing here. There's another circular thing here. So until you do something to get down through that, I think that this is a um, cup within a cup within a cup. And the only way to get the back of it off, or the only thing that brings it together, is to get this off. I think the screen keeps things from having sparks go out and catch this on fire. And then, I th like a spark arrestor on a motorcycle, but I think it also muffles the sound so that when the airbag goes off, it's poof and not, you know, something that'll break your eardrums. I wish I could show more of this, but I'm not getting into it at all. So, this is a airbag out of a Mazda Millennia. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just take off the back of it and see if it's the same device in this that there was in the Honda. They're both Japanese vehicles. So, it would stand to reason. The bolt pattern looks the same, but the bolts are different. And this is different too. So, just that quick, you know that. But my theory is I should be able to pull the whole airbag out by just pulling these off. So, I'm going to do that. One, no special sockets. 
These nuts I'm sure will come in handy. I'll hang on to them. Wow, look at that. So you've got the frame. You've got the bag itself. I mean, you could use this for any number of things. This is definitely made different. You don't see all the rivets on this one that you saw in the other one. Turn that, stretch it, pull it, stop, erase it. Daft Punk, awesome. But again, same thing. Dude, look at the size of this sucker. It looks like something from my daughter's Octonaut show. And again, it says an S, and then there's these type of numbers. Let's compare the numbers. So here's the numbers. This one's uh, Bravo Bravo Juliet 6003. This one's 4. Samuel Samuel 91 Yankee 85. And then a 6, I think. This one's all numbers. This one starts Alpha 100. This one's a lot better print on it, the one that's a Mazda. But again, it's got the same kind of a thing. It has these little strands. So they're made to kind of give and stretch a little bit on the edges. So when you look in there, you can see. A little bit of metal actually. Interesting. I think that metal came from the explosive device. Here's the explosive device. And it's the same kind of thing where it's got a real heavy duty back end. It's got holes around the sides. Uh, double layered up aluminum. And then a two wire uh, discharge kind of a thing. Let's do another one. These are easy when you're out cutting stuff and you just pull the bolts out. Holy smokes. And now I've got this great big bag. <laughs> if you wanted, you could cut these. And then you'd have like a big old duffel bag kind of thing. Or you'd have like a bag that you could take to your uh, shooting competitions and collect brass with. For example. You ready? Hit! 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 Shooter's done. I'm Woo! Woohoo! Now I get to go pick up all that breath. Wouldn't be too bad. So if you were to cut these, does this only have two? For real? Yeah, there's just two of them on this. So now I've just got one big bag. It just had two things. A couple of vents, reinforced, double layered. At this point here, you've got one layer, two layers, three. So we've got at least three on the flap, a fourth here, and then this. So it's like five layers where it's attached. So down here, you've got one layer, two, three. So three layers at your face. It looks like stitching on the sides, but I don't think it is. I think all of that deformation happened when it went pop, you know, the stretch part of it. So the stitching, they don't really care if it's pretty and perfect, just as long as it's strong, because nobody's going to really see it until an accident. This one says, Airbag Gas Generator, Hertz Morton International Corporation, Ogden, frickin' Utah, are you serious? Ogden, Utah, USA, and this was in a Mazda airbag. Herg, 1997, that's the year the Mazda Motors, Deutschland something, love of... So if this is... Morton International Incorporated Ogden, Utah. I should be able to go there and check that out. That's awesome. I had no idea that airbag things were made in Ogden, Utah. I'm from Utah. I mean, that's a long drive. I mean, Utah is not a small state, but that's pretty freaking cool. You know who else uh, is in Ogden, Utah? Uh, Hill Air Force Base and also the diesel performance company, Edge. But then there's all this German stuff. I see this being made in Germany. To prevent personal injury, do not dismantle, incinerate, or bring into contact with electricity. Store below 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So here's three very different airbag units. This doesn't say where it's from. I'm guessing it's probably from Japan. But when we look closely, it says, look at this. It says Morton International Incorporated Automotive Safety Products. And then it says 3350 Airport Road, Ogden, Utah. So this is from Ogden, went to Japan. This is also from Ogden, apparently. That's awesome. It has the freaking address on it. And that was in a Honda. This, a lot of Hondas are made in the U.S., so. And then there's this one, too. And it says all of the same kind of stuff. But this one looks, this looks cheaper to me. 
than the other ones. The ones from Morton with all the aluminum are pretty cool. But how interesting that these are internationally traveled, probably, and they're from Morton, Utah. I'm from Utah. Make sure to click subscribe and then the little bell. Then when I do new videos, if you've clicked the box and hit save, it'll show up on your bell on the side.